Hi, we're North Shore, and you're Inside Acapella. One, two, three. We're so glad this book of the singer, season four, kudos from North Shore. Hey, who loves you, baby? Hi, I'm Rachel C. and you are Inside Acapella. Let's start off with some acapella news. This weekend is the ICCA Finals in New York City at Town Hall. Groups are traveling from all over the United States to compete for the title of Best Acapella Performance by a high school or collegiate group. And so am I. Inside Acapella will be going to New York City this weekend to cover the event. Be sure to tune in next week for the highlights of the ICCA Finals. This past weekend was the MTV Video Music Awards. And our little acapella movie, Pitch Perfect, won the best musical moment, beating out Les Mis and several others. Funny Lady Rebel Wilson also won Best Breakout Artist in the Film. And as the host of the event, she welcomed back many of the Pitch Perfect cast for a fiery opening number. Speaking of Pitch Perfect, did you catch the announcement of Pitch Perfect 2? Writer Kay Cannon announced that she is writing the sequel to the movie and it is set to release in 2015. Acapella sale! Casa is having an acapella mega sale. A-Capella.com went out of business and now Casa.org is selling off their enormous back stock of CDs and sheet music at amazing prices. Plus, Casa members get 50% off any purchases. We've got the link for you in the show notes. And now, another Too Many Notes with Deke Sharon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. Cancer, a boil, a festering wound on the face of acapella. It affects almost every corner of our community from the lowliest high school group to the largest, most prominent professional ensembles. And what is this terrible, horrible problem? Group names. Yeah, you all know what I'm talking about. First of all, the biggest problem of all, punny names. There's so many, I don't even know where to start. How about foreplay? You're not even getting to first base. By the way, comedy groups don't even have punny names. The Bobs, Da Vinci's Notebook, Minimum Wage, Kinsey Six. Actually, Kinsey Six is a pun, but it's a good one. Okay, here's another one. Trendy names. Impact, like NSYNC. Look, I was around during the 90s, but you can throw away flannel. A name is forever. Groups with a number in their name, you better be very careful. Fifth Avenue shows up as a quartet, they're gonna be issuing refunds. How about groups where you can't spell the name? York University's Weeby Jazz and all one word apostrophe from eyes and stuff. <sighs> Need about a half an hour and a stiff drink to Google that one. Ooh, racy names. Emory University's Moral pleasure. Isn't it embarrassing enough that you have to call home and tell your dad that you're singing a cappella instead of playing football? Eh? Oh, and groups like Pitch Slap and Pitch Please. Why don't you guys just save us a lot of time and just name yourselves Bitch Blapped and Bitch Please? Seriously. And as for the University of South Carolina's Cacapella? <sighs> Actually, that, that name's pretty perfect. How about group names you can't pronounce? Beazelbubs, Beazelbubs. Don't don't get me started. I spent four years in the Tufts Beazelbubs and another four years in professional therapy. Ah, and then we have the multicultural groups, the Jewish groups that choose a name in Hebrew, which translates roughly to an outsider as "Please don't come to our concerts. You definitely won't understand." Oh, you don't believe me? Would you go to the campus Mongolian groups concert if they were named B Olodonki Baliki? I'm pretty sure I didn't pronounce that right. And I'm pretty sure nobody will ever know. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to that after party. They got that grilled meat. The, with the, how about groups that have the same name as 14 other groups? The Sirens, Mosaic, Voicemail. At this point, if you're going to call your group Voicemail, your URL is going to be like www.voicemailmusicofficialgroupsocalregions number two. And if you get your name wrong, you're going to be changing it sooner or later. Toxic Audio had to change their name to Vox Audio after a decade in a hit Broadway show. Germany's Stux singers are now Slicks. 425 now call themselves Vocal Play. And Public Bathhouse is now Vox Play. That's right, there's a group in Hong Kong whose name until very recently was Public Bathhouse. 
No joke. Oh well, it's better than Taiwan's gay singers who would have quite a difficult time touring the Red States. Which brings me to the group the Red States, whose name might get a snicker in Manhattan, but probably doesn't go over that well as soon as they drive down 95. And they just changed their name to Restated. Let me just make sure if Restated is their new name. Don't be Restated. Get it right the first time. I'm out of here. Thanks, Deke. Let's wrap up the show with another great eight. This week's Grade 8 is the Top 8 Acapella Medleys. Enjoy! Far, far away. Kiss a Wookiee, kick a toy, fly the Falcon. Let me show you what you're missing. Paradise, with me you win and go. You don't have to... We got the flow. Daddy Pop. Daddy Pop. It's time to say goodbye. I hate to turn up out of the blue, uninvited, but I couldn't stay. Thanks to Turtle Dolls and Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. On the 12th day of Christmas, I, I have a little dreidel. dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, a dreidel I'll have to sit Ba 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 if you're interested in being part of the Inside Acapella weekly show, contact us through our social media or leave a comment below. That's so rhymed. Next week on Inside Acapella, we'll be recapping the ICCA finals. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more acapella updates or check out our social media for more insider information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Rachel C. and I'll see you next week on Inside Acapella. Yes, don't worry.